Hello friends, this is Ramin Gill with your daily Forex market analysis for October 25th, 2016. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. If you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. Let's start off by taking a look at our economic calendar here. Starting the day off, we have German IFO business climate numbers for euro at 4 a.m. and then into the U.S. session we have CB consumer confidence numbers for U.S. dollar and then Bank of England Governor Carney speaking at 10.30 a.m. Eastern followed by ECB President Draghi at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. So between 10.30 to about 12 o'clock we can expect a lot of market volatility so watch out for that especially for euro and the pound in the asian session we have aussie inflation numbers cpi data coming out at 8 30 p.m eastern let's move on to the charts now we're looking at pound us dollar daily chart price has been trading in this range for some time now for quite a few days at this point price is staying below the previous support and resistance in right here and at this point I expect the price to come down towards the bottom of the range. Looking at Euro US dollar here we did see the price break down after ECB and since then price has traded lower. We have broken through our 109 resistance level that we were watching. We got a spinning top close for the Euro here. It's an indecision candle. At this point we are watching the 10900 level. If the price stays below 109 we would look for a move to the downside and our next target it is 10820 followed by 10800. Looking at the one hour chart here we see this 109 level this is where we are watching for the price to stay below. If the price stays below this level we would look for a further move to the downside. If the price breaks above here the next level we are watching is 10950. If the price stays below 10950 again we are looking for a move to the downside. We could see a pullback either into 109 or 10950 so we have to be mindful of that and be aware of that. We do have ECB tomorrow which could cause big moves in the market so be careful with that one. Looking at New Zealand dollar here we do see that the price closed to the downside here and as a result we'll be looking for a further move to the downside. The next target that we are watching is 7100. For New Zealand dollar we do see a bearish daily close. As a result we'll be looking for a further move to the downside. And now we have come into this next support and resistance level here at just close to 7100. If the price does not break the 7100 level we could see a move back up and the next target we would be watching to the upside would be 7180 level. So those are the two figures we are watching if the price closes below 7100 and stays below 7100 we are expecting a further move to the downside and a break of 7100 with a follow through to the downside. If it fails to break this 7100 level to the downside and instead starts trading up we could see it go all the way to 7180 level. Similarly for Aussie here as well we see a spinning top close which means the price could go in either direction at this point. We do see that we are coming into this support level here at 75.80 level. At this point we could see a push up into the previous swing high at 76.50 area. So that's what we'll have to watch out for. If the price stays below 76.50 we are looking for a move back down here uh, towards this support and resistance level here. At this point we would be watching the Aussie and we are open to trading it both ways. Dollar cat here was interesting. We saw a lot of central bank driven moves because of what Governor Pola said for Bank of Canada. We saw a move to the downside first then price has been pushing up because of policy divergence where the US Fed is looking to increase interest rates. Bank of Canada actually is looking to cut interest rate and provide more stimulus in the market which is very negative for the Canadian dollar. However because of uh, the comments yesterday we did see the price move down and close lower back into this range that it was trading in and now again we have seen the price move to the upside. At this point we would watch this level this high of 3360. If the price stays below this level 3360 we're looking for a move back into 
this previous low of the candle and a move back into this range again. However, if the price breaks through this 3360 level or if the price pulls back and stays above 13300, we are looking for a move to the upside. So at this point, we have to see whether this is just a pullback for a drop or we are looking for a move higher. We are back outside of the range here. So we now we need to see which way the price goes and would be open to both sides. Looking at the one hour chart here, we can see that the price is staying below R1. As long as it stays below R1 at 133.60, that is good. And we can look for the price to come down into 13300. And if it moves lower, back into 132.50. So at this point, this looks bearish and we are looking for a price to move back into S1 at 132.50, but 13300 is a key level here. If it's not able to break down, then we'd be looking for a move to the upside into the top here at 13400. It being a Monday yesterday, the market moves were quite small and range bound. So let's see what the new day brings here. That's it for today. I'll see you in the trade room.